You're watching Shaw Arts and Entertainment. I'm Curtis Anderson in Regina, all the way from Saskatoon. Here we are with Eric Peterson saying goodbye to Corner Gas. Thoughts? I mean, is it a sad day? Oh, terribly sad for yeah. me. I mean, um, I don't, I, 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 I adore doing this show mm -hmm. and I could happily do it for you. Um, Forever, <laughs> I guess. So I'm I'm very sad about it being over. I think it's uh, for actors too. They, not it's not only the show that there's this character that you play, this mm -hmm. this creature that you have that, and that's and not being able to play that anymore is. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody. I mean, Oscar will always. I mean, the Corner Gas will always be on television. Yeah. And I say that not in any pompous way because it's so important. It's just that television is like mm -hmm. styrofoam and. It's kind of, kind of the kind of the you know the styrofoam of a, mm -hmm. of a of a form that is any television that has ever been made will always be seen somewhere at some time. So, as far as the fans are concerned, of course, there will always be these six seasons of Corner mm -hmm. Gas, and there may be a special or something later on. But again, in this business, to count on that would be you know wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be wise. So. Uh, but I'm very sad that it's over. It's been a wonderful, wonderful job. It's made incredible sense to me, who came from Saskatchewan, and yep. uh, to be able to come back here in a sort of full circle from where I began, and knowing that when I left here, you couldn't act here, and that to come back and be part of this, um, this wonderful, wonderful series has been uh, just a huge, wonderful uh, joy to me, and a real, um, you know, high, uh, high point of my career, and uh, I'm very sad that it's over. I've been talking to a lot of other uh, cast members today. I honestly haven't said this to anybody else. Oscar, far and above my favorite character on Corner Gas. You remind me of like my uncles, my dad, all the Saskatchewan folk wrapped into one. The public loves Oscar. Yeah, they do. And I mean, that's I, I take that as a great compliment. It's, it's a, a source of tremendous kind of satisfaction to me. And, um, and I, I mean, but I can't take credit for it. Totally. I mean, I do fill this part out, and I do mm -hmm. understand this guy, but I have to admit that when I first read Oscar and nobody had ever played it, I thought, this is a great guy. So Brent Buttercaris is at the center of all this. And, uh, yeah, and I often read it, and when I, see, you know, read dialogue of Oscars, I can hear... Mm -hmm. And then you see the Oscars all over Saskatchewan, oh, you know, it's That's the kind the of the hat, you know, everybody, <laughs> and I, you know, and so, but it's great because it reminds, Oscar always reminded me sort of my dad too, and I mean, I'm like that too, I guess, I'm just a Saskatchewan man, so, I mean, um, and that's been really thrilling, you're like my dad, you're like my granddad, you're like my uncle or something like that, and, and that part too. So that people can relate to the the show, not just as a funny thing, but it also has a kind, it leads us back to reality to a certain extent, which is always important in art to me, that these aren't just so broadly drawn that you can't recognize them as real people and, um, among your neighbors at any rate, so. We've been milling around, oh, that doesn't sound right. We've been milling around for the past four hours here and I could see the passion in you, of course, because for the last four hours it's been sign, stand, smile for the picture, sit, sign, stand, and you, you outlasted Tara. She was tired after like the second hour and I saw you're still jumping up, yelling jackass. What is the most commonly asked question today? I don't think that, we didn't actually answer questions. People so, weren't asking why? why? No, no, nobody's okay. done, done that. I think they, mainly they've just said how sad they are. Okay. And the other thing is they've said how they've been, I've heard a lot of thank yous. I've heard a lot of gratitude about the show. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, this is part of my, uh, if you want to call it passion about being here. I feel very um, grateful to the fans for watching this show. There's only one thing as an actor in this country that really interests me, and that's doing stuff that Canadians watch in large okay. numbers. So this show has been a dream come true for me in a sense like that. It's been a very successful series. And it's, it's also, there's a, when fans talk about this show, there is this sense of ownership about it, that this is a Canadian show that they're proud of and they've enjoyed watching, and that's a special treat for us. We don't get a chance to do that a lot in this country. Most of our television comes from someplace else, uh, the States, of course, and so uh, we have an audience that really is used to sort of instantly translating something they see in America and extrapolating how it would relate yep. to them here. And I think when you watch a show that's 
made by Canadians, just, that's all it is that really qualifies it, it's that you don't have to translate anymore. You know, suddenly this is Regina, you don't have to, you know, it must, it's a thrill to be able to go, oh, that's television, and it happens right where I come from, as opposed to most of our television experiences, it happens everywhere but we, where we come from. And so this is, show has been very important to me in that level too. I think it's important. It's a hard go making Canadian television, especially in English Canada, uh, with the competition from the Americans and with the kind of cultural policies in this country. So it's, it's uh, to have a successful Canadian show has been very important to me too, uh, because it also gives us in the, uh, shall we say, in the lobbying the public for the importance of this kind of activity and state support for it. It's important to have before them a show that they can identify with and see the, see where their tax money. He's going, and then they approve of it. So, that the show's been important to me that for that reason as well. The, well, the most asked question is, would you call me a jackass? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I wanted to put a jackass booth here today. Actually, yeah. I thought for five bucks you should own you that could, word. You could come up, and for five five me five bucks, and I would call you a jackass. This is sort of the version of the kissing booth, right? Have there been any merchandise with the word jackass on? There's it? one T-shirt yeah, okay. that says jackass okay. on it. Fair and enough. and Brent said to me the other day, he said, "I'm so sorry I gave Oscar that word." He said, "I wanted to keep it for myself." He was Brent's favorite. Yeah. You know, cuss word as it were. It's not really. A bad word. So but he he was sorry that he he, he had Oscar say it because uh, it's, it caught. It's, it's caught it on caught. really well. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank I'll you. let you go. Good luck. Thanks a lot.